Two more cases of monkeypox have been identified in the UK, which takes the total number of cases now to nine. It's thought that the people became infected within the community in the southeast of England rather than through contracting it through travel to West Africa, where monkeypox is most common. Uh, well, we're joined now from Bath by Dr Barrett Pancania, Senior Clinical Lecturer at the University of Exeter. Uh, good to see you this afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. Um, let's go back to basics, shall we? What is monkeypox? So, monkeypox is an infection caused by a virus. It's an orthopox virus, similar to the smallpox virus, which we managed to eliminate from planet Earth uh, in the wild. And it causes an infection which results in you having respiratory symptoms, enlarged lymph glands, and then this typical rash. This rash is sort of macule, papule, and, and then pustules, as you see in this picture. It reminds me, actually, Sarah Jane, it reminds me of me, myself, in 1972 when I had smallpox. It's very similar to smallpox. And the peculiarities with monkeypox is it's got nothing to do with monkeys. It's just that it's called monkeypox because once upon a time, some dogs which were infected with this virus then infected a large number of uh, laboratory monkeys and hence they could gave it the name monkeypox. So it's often found usually in West Africa and Central Africa. How infectious is it? I mean, looking at, at, you know, what are the effects of it in terms of when you're looking at the picture of what look like boils on people's skin, those lesions, it looks quite alarming. So let's talk about how infectious it is and what the effects are if you contract it. So with respect to its infectivity, the good news is that it is not as infectious as, say, SARS virus, because it, this is more uh, close person-to-person -person spread, uh, touching those contaminated lesions or clothing, or, of course, coming into contact with infected infectious animals. Uh, in terms of its... Uh, uh, seriousness, well, it is more serious, especially so in the younger age group, and the case fatality rate, albeit rare, if you get infected, are ill with signs and symptoms in the younger age group, uh, case fatality rate can be as high as 10%. So not to be taken lightly, 10% is a large number. In most people, uh, it is this horrible illness, but they do get better. And I hope we don't have to go down the route of using the vaccinia vaccine, which we used against smallpox, because that vaccine also works very effectively against monkeypox. I hope this is a blip that will come and go, rather than us having to go down the route of immunising selected people. Yeah, just the nine cases at the moment, all those diagnosed in the UK are in England and most of them based in London. Um, the city's public health director said plans were in place to stock up on treatments if, if case infections rise further. So you were talking uh, about a vaccination there, which may be effective if it is needed. But just in terms of the treatment of monkeypox, if you contracted, what is the treatment and what is the recovery time? So in most cases, uh, it is symptomatic treatment. In, in other words, give you treatment for that itchiness, that it is really, really itchy, it's horrible, and you want to scratch it and then you are left with scars. And then the other bit is just symptomatic, temperature control, hydration, etc. Having said all that, in some people, especially people who are immune suppressed, elderly, etc., we also have antivirals, specific antivirals that act against this uh, uh, pox virus and can subdue that infection. The best thing to do, of course, is not to get infected in the first instance. Um, so just a final word about um, what people should be thinking, because, of course, monkeypox is in the news. It's new. It looks alarming. There are nine cases confirmed, uh, the latest two contracted within the community, not linked to travel abroad. So, of course, people are going to be looking at this, you know, COVID pandemic, we're still in it, fresh in our mind. What would you say to people who are a little bit concerned about what they're witnessing at the moment? So if you are suddenly unwell with a fever, uh, enlarged lymph nodes, and you've got a peculiar rash, 
peculiar. And when I, when I say peculiar, is of course you've never come across this rash before, so it will look unusual. So it starts off as macules, which means little flat lesions, and then they quickly swell up into little boils, and then they quickly swell up into little pustules. So if you see uh, the combination of I am unwell with a fever, enlarged lymph nodes, and I've got these little boils, especially what we call in the face arms region, then of course you should isolate yourself. Of course, call your doctor. Don't walk into your doctor's surgery or a &E and say, have a look at this. Uh, keep yourself to yourself and then call the doctors. Yeah, sensible precautions. Dr. Bhatt Pankania, always good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us here on Sky News this afternoon. Appreciate it. Thank you.